Assalamu alaikum students, this is your teacher Muhammad Umar Khatak for the subject Organizational Theory and Behavior and this is our 31st lecture and chapter number 12 and today the topic of our discussion is Contemporary Theories of Leadership Contemporary Theories of Leadership Leaders are important to organization and to employees the understanding of leadership is a constantly evolving science. Contemporary theories have been built upon the foundations we have just established to discover unique ways leaders emerge, influence and guide their, guide their employees and organizations. Leader Member Exchange LMX Theory Think of a leader you know. Does this leader have favorites who make up an in-group? If you answered yes, you are acknowledging leader-member exchange theory. Leader-member exchange theory argues that, because of time pressures, leaders establish a special relation with a small group of their followers. These individuals make up the in-group. They are trusted, get a disproportionate amount of leaders' attention, and are more likely to receive special privileges. Other followers fall into the out group. LMX theory proposes that early in the history of the interaction between a leader and a given follower, the leader implicitly categorizes the follower as an in or an out. That relationship becomes relatively stable over time. Leaders induce LMX by rewarding employees with whom they want a closer linkage and punishing those with whom they do not. For LMX relationship to remain intact, the leader and the follower must invest in the relationship. Just how the leader chooses who falls into each category is unclear, but there is evidence in-group members have demographic, attitude and personality characteristics similar to those of their leader, or a higher level of competence than outgroup members. Leaders and followers of the same gender tend to have closer relationship than those of different genders. Even though the leader does the choosing, the followers' characteristics drive the categorizing decision. Research to test LMX theory has been generally supportive, with substantial Evidence that leaders do differentiate among followers. These disparities are far from random, and followers with in-group status receive higher performance ratings, engage in more helping or citizenship behaviors at work, and report greater satisfaction with their superiors. One study conducted in Portugal and the United States found that LMX was associated strongly with followers' commitment to the organization when leaders were seen as embodying the values and identity of the organization. Other research suggests that employees of leaders who provided family support in the LMX relationship were more committed and performed better. These findings shouldn't be surprising given our knowledge of self-fulfilling prophecy. Leaders invest resources with those they expect to perform best, believing in-group members are the most competent, leaders treat them as such and unwittingly fulfill their prophecy. For all the positives the in-group receives, research indicates that both the in-group and the out-group realize the negative effects from LMX. For example, a study in Turkey demonstrated when leaders differentiated strongly among their followers in terms of their relationship, Employees from both groups responded with more negative work attitudes and higher level of withdrawal behavior. One study in China and the United States indicated the differential leadership treatment hurts team trust and perception of procedural justice, especially when the team members work closely together. Other research indicated that although in-group team members showed increased performance, the team as a whole became uncoordinated in the LMX environment and overall performance suffered. Close-knit teams may be able to help out-group 
members to retain their confidence and self-efficacy by offering a supportive environment at the cost of the relationship between employees and leaders. Charismatic Leadership Do you think leaders are born or not made, or made not born? True, an individual may literally be born into leadership position. Think family heirs with surnames like Ford and Hilton. Be endowed with a leadership position due to the past accomplishment, like CEOs who worked their way up the organizational ranks. Or be informally acknowledged as a leader, like Twitter employee who knows everything because he was there at the start. But here we are not talking about the inputs into leadership role attainment. Rather, we are focused on what makes great leaders extraordinary. Two contemporary leadership theories, a charismatic leadership and transformation leadership, share a common theme in the great leader debate. They view leaders as individuals who inspire followers through words, ideas and behaviors. What is charismatic leadership? Sociologist Max Weber defined charisma from the Greek word for gift as a certain quality of an individual personality by virtue of which he or she is set apart from ordinary people and treated as endowed with supernatural, superhuman or at least specifically exceptional powers or qualities. These are not accessible to ordinary person and are regarded as of divine origin or as exemplary and on the basis of them the individual concerned is treated as a leader. The first research to consider charismatic leadership in terms of organizational behavior was Robert House. According to the charismatic leadership theory, followers attribute heroic or extraordinary leadership abilities when they observe certain behaviors and tend to give these leaders power. A number of studies have attempted to identify the characteristics of charismatic leaders. They have a vision, are willing to take personal risks to achieve that vision, are sensitive to followers' needs and exhibit extraordinary behaviors. Recent research in Greece suggested that charismatic leadership increases followers' organizational identification commitment by building a shared group identity among followers. Other research indicates that charismatic leadership may predict follower job satisfaction. Are charismatic leaders born or made? Are charismatic leaders born with the qualities? Or can people actually learn to be charismatic leaders? Yes and yes. Individuals are born with traits that make them charismatic. In fact, studies of identical twins found they score similarly on charismatic leadership measures even if they were raised in different households and never met. Personality is also related to charismatic leadership. Charismatic leaders are likely to be extroverted, self-confident, and achievement-oriented. Consider the legendary qualities of U.S. President Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, and Ronald Reagan, and the U.K. Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher when they were in office. Whether you like them or not, they are often compared because all they, they all exhibited the qualities of charismatic leaders. Research indicates that charismatic leadership is not only the province of world leaders. All of, all of us can develop, within our own limitations, a more charis charismatic leadership style. If you stay active and central in your leadership roles, you will naturally communicate your vision for achieving goals to your followers, which increases the likelihood you will be seen as charismatic. To further develop an aura of charisma, Use your passions as catalyst for generating enthusiasm. Speaking in an animated voice, reinforce your message with eye contact and facial expressions. 
and gesture from emphasis. Bring out the potential in followers by tapping into their emotions and create a bond that inspires them. Remember, enthusiasm is contagious. How charismatic leaders influence followers? How do charismatic leaders actually influence followers? By articulating an appealing vision, a long-term strategy for attaining a goal, by linking the present with a better future for the organization. Desirable vision fits the times and circumstances and reflect the uniqueness of the organization. Thus, Followers are inspired not only by how passionately the leader communicates, there must be an underlying, underlying vision that appeals to the followers as well. A vision needs an accompanying vision statement, a formal articulation of an organization vision or mission. Charismatic leaders may use vision statements to imprint on followers an overarching goal and purpose. These leaders also set a tone of cooperation and mutual support. They build self, uh, followers' self-esteem and confidence with high-performance expectations and the belief that followers can attain them. Through words and actions, the leaders convey a new set of values and sets an example for followers to imitate. Finally, the charismatic leader engages in emotion-inducing and often unconventional behavior to demonstrate courage and conviction about the vision. Research indicates that charismatic leadership works as followers catch the emotions their leader is conveying. One study found employees had stronger sense of personal belonging at work when they had charismatic leaders and increase their willingness to engage in helping and compliance-oriented behavior. Does effective charismatic leadership depend on the situation? Charismatic leadership has positive effects across many contexts. There are, however, characteristics of followers and of the situation that enhance or somewhat limit its effect. One factor that enhances charismatic leadership is stress. People are especially receptive to charismatic leadership when they sense a crisis, when they are under stress or when they fear for their lives. We may be more receptive to charismatic leadership under crisis because we think bold leadership is needed. Some of it, however, may be more primal. When people are psychologically aroused, even in laboratory studies, they are more likely to respond to charismatic leaders. This may explain why charismatic leaders surf surface. It's likely to be in politics or religion, during wartime or when a business is in its infancy or facing a threatening crisis. For example, U.S. President Franklin Roosevelt offered a vision with charisma to get the United States out of the Great Depression in the 1930s. In 1997, when Apple Computer was floundering and lacking direction, the board persuaded charismatic co-founder Steve Jobs to return as interim CEO and restore the company to its innovative roots. Charismatic leaders are able to reduce stress for their employees, perhaps because they make they help make work seem more meaningful and interesting. You may wonder whether a situational factor limiting charisma is the personal level in the organization. Top executives create vision. We would think it is more difficult to utilize a person's charismatic leadership qualities in lower level management jobs or to align his or her vision with specific top management goals. However, while charismatic leadership may be more important in the upper echelons of organizations, it may be effective from a distance or from close range. 
Some personalities are especially susceptible to charismatic leadership. For instance, an individual who lacks self-esteem and questions his or her self-worth is more likely to absorb a leader's direction rather than establish an individual's way of leading or thinking. For these people, the situation may matter much less than the charismatic qualities of the leader. The dark side of the charismatic leader, unfortunately, charismatic leaders who are larger than life doesn't necessarily act in the best interests of their organization. Research has shown that individuals who are narcissists are also higher in some behavior associated with charismatic leadership. Many charismatic but corrupt leaders have allowed their personal goals to override the goals of their organizations. Leaders at Enron, Tyco, WorldCom and Health South recklessly used organizational resources for their personal benefits and violated laws and ethics to inflate stock prices and then cashed in millions of dollars in personal stock options. Some charismatic leaders like Hitler, for example, are too successful at convincing their followers to pursue a disastrous vision. If charisma is power, then power can be used for good and for ill. It's not that charismatic leadership isn't effective or overall it is, but a charismatic leader isn't always the answer. Success depends on some extent on the situation and on the leader's vision and on the organizational checks and balance in place to monitor the outcomes.